Hello, I'm Mark with CSHitZone.com, and today we're learning the symbol tools. All right, double click on the symbol tool sprayer. All right, this opens up the symbolism tool options panel where you can control the sprayer. We can set the diameter of the spray, intensity sets the amount of change, and the symbol set density tells us how tightly we want the symbols packed together. Now let's just draw a little bit here. All right, well, we need them more densely packed, so let's do it again a little bit slower. There you go. And this is just a symbol I created specifically for this tutorial. All right, there you go. Now here are the options for the symbol sprayer, scrunch, size, spin, screen, stain, and style. Okay. All right. Now when we click on the symbol shifter, we see information at the bottom which tells us what to do and what happens when we do it. This also applies to the symbol scruncher. Click the symbol scruncher. <clears throat> now let's go and scrunch. Alright, what it does is it scrunches the symbol together, whether, you know, more packed tightly in areas that you want them that way. and. Um, yeah, you can pretty much do this with any symbol, just here, scrunch there. Again, I'm not really going for any specific look. I'm just uh, showing you how these symbol tools work. So yeah, all right. Uh, when we click on the symbol sizer, we see proportional resizing available and uh, resizing affects density, which is fairly self-explanatory and the symbol spinner tool has no shortcuts. Now let me show you how this works. Alright, now click on a symbol and you pull outward and you see the symbols get bigger. You can also make them smaller. Let's make them bigger. Yeah, there you go. One here, one here. Just kind of scatter it out a little bit. Show you how it works. that. Some more here. There you go. Now the symbol strainer lets us know that holding the Alt key down will decrease the amount of colorization and holding the Shift key down will keep the amount constant. Alright, let's play around with this. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Some here. Here. Okay. key, shift key, all right, let's try to balance this out, put some over here, change some color here, okay, now the symbol screener says to hold the alt key down to decrease transparency. Right, let's play with this. Okay. And let's get some of these. A little more balance over here on this side. All right. I'm just kind of showing you how this works. You can pretty much single out which symbol you want. All right. Now the symbol styler forms us to hold the Alt key down to decrease the amount of style and hold the Shift key down to keep it constant. Okay, let's play with this. All right, let's pick a style. There you go. We'll use these these default styles that are preloaded into Illustrator. And we'll give the symbol some style. You can pretty much create your own patterns here in Illustrator and drag and drop them into the style and create your own. But uh, we're just using the default ones here just to kind of show you how it works. All right. 
Here views all the options I could to manipulate the symbol. Go ahead and change the parameters in the options panel and see what happens. Remember to subscribe and visit our site csintel.com for more tutorials.